Hi, this is Julius and I'm Paula. And welcome to another webisode of Galoo's Mood Food. Let us tempt your taste buds. <laughs> is going to be on a pineapple upside down cake and it's made the way that I do it so stick around here we go watch what's going on we're going to take a half a stick of butter get this started get you about a medium heat all right we'll dispose of that in our yuck bowl and we're going to put some dark brown sugar into this. And here's about a half bag. And we're going to put that half bag right on in there. And that is the dark brown. I like to use the dark brown. I want to pop that in there. Get yourself a spoon. Get that going all together here. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit, just for now, just to get that dissolved into the butter. We'll probably have to add some more butter to it, but this is, this turns out rocking, you guys. It really does. So while this is doing its thing, instead of doing a, a single layer or a sheet cake, I'm going to turn that back down while I talk so I don't burn all this stuff. Instead of doing a, a single layer sheet cake, I'm going to do two nine inch rounds and I'm going to do a double layer pineapple upside down cake for you. So there's going to be this good stuff in the middle with the pineapples and the cherries and it's also going to be on top. So this is why we're doing all this fancy dancy stuff. So I'll put those back to the side uh, in a cup over here, in a strainer I should say. And put a cup over it if your bowl's not quite deep enough. But get yourself some uh, pineapple rings and drain the the broth off or the juice off of those. I've got those to the side right now. You have your maraschino cherries out. You're gonna have to have your eggs at room temperature. I've got three. I'm not making the cake from scratch. Although you can buy cake mixes that are pineapple upside down. And it's the whole kit. I don't like working with those. They just don't taste the same, they taste artificial. This is a yellow cake mix that we're going to be using. Uh, this is going along really nicely now. It's starting to incorporate. And you don't want to get rid of that uh, pineapple juice that you're draining off. You want to save that in case you need it to help out with your brown sugar and your butter mixture. But again, we're using a yellow cake mix and all these fine ingredients so it actually tastes like a really good homemade pineapple upside down cake. The only short cake, shortcut that you're taking on this cake, if I can say it, is you're using a box jello. No harm in that. A box cake. A box jello cake. All right. Hey, this is a different kind of webisode. <laughs> Watch the intro. All right, this is starting to tighten up just a little bit here. That's your brown sugar and your butter. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of that pineapple juice I was telling you about. And we're going to put a little bit of that in there. That back on top there. And I'm going to come over here and get a little more butter. Because that, that does it right there. Alright, that's maybe another tablespoon or so. You want this tight, but not too tight. Oh, it's going to be good. And we will make it through this episode. Webisode. Alright. 
That's going good. Now I'll let you go from there. This is uh, getting real close to the consistency that you want it to be. So again, that was a half a box of dark brown sugar and about three quarters stick of butter. I'll make it even with three quarters of the stick. There we go. We'll say that other fourth there for something else that we do. That's what you want to see right there. See that? That's what you want. So you only use just a little bit of the juice. And I was just kind of loosen it up. And then you got your brown sugar and your butter. So we're going to turn that down. We don't want it boiling or anything of that nature. You just want to kind of keep it warm. And I'm going to get set up for the rest of it here. And we'll be right back. So stay tuned. Stick around with us. Okay, back to the pineapple upside down cake. We've got the dark brown sugar and the butter and a little bit of pineapple juice that we put in there. It's sitting off to the side right now. It's on warm. And we had uh, mixed it all together on the medium heat. And it's got a great consistency consistency to it. That's the word. Uh, we're using a yellow box cake mix. No harm, no foul in that. Get all that in there. I'm going to do one of those. Now uh, here's where we go from here. We add, instead of water that it calls for, this is why we reserved our pineapple juice. It calls for a cup of water with the pineapple juice in. One cup. Okay. And we got three eggs at room temperature. I'm going to put those in. Time before I get mixing on this, I just want to tell you that um, we had done our pineapple rings and we drained them. That's where we got a lot of our juice. And we also did a can of uh, crushed pineapple. And what you want to do with the crushed is even after you drain it, it's still going to have all that pineapple juice in it. And you don't want too much in here or the cake's not going to work out. So you just take it and you Use your hands, best tool in the world, and you just squeeze out all that excess juice, but you reserve it. Again, and we did some maraschino cherries, just a few of them, chopped up, and they're for the, the center cake. Um, remember I told you I'm doing a double layer. So these are for the center of it, and they're chopped up. And we're going to do the crushed pineapple in the center. And then we got the pan here with the pretty rings in it. And we had already pre-sprayed this one. Get yourself a cooking spray, pre spray it, put your pineapple in here. And then we're going to put our maraschino cherries in the holes and we're going to pour that good stuff over it. But I just wanted to give you kind of a little heads up on where we're going here on this one. So we got to get our mixer. And this is always fun, so stand back. <laughs> Make sure I have it off. Damn way back out there in webland all right that's on wow oh it smells good with the pineapple juice in instead of the water difference. 
because it tastes huge different than this. Than any pineapple upside down box cake ready thing that you can buy. You're putting your own love into it. Right, so I'm gonna stop here just for a second. And that pretty already. I'm gonna just give the sides here a little scrape down. So we get all that in there. You know, I can see some dry at the bottom. And you make sure you do this. If you're not a cake baker, you sh you too can be. So. once around. I'm just going to put this on my board here with my maraschinos. Off to the side, ain't going to hurt anything. I'm going to get a mix in again. Make sure everything's good and incorporated. And look, it's not all over the walls. <laughs> all the difference in the world. Uh, here's our glaze that the upside down part. Get it stirred up here a little bit more. And if it starts to seize up on here, thicken up just a little bit, don't have a freak out. You want it kind of thick, but if it gets starts to get a little too hard, keep it on the, the heat like we had it on low. But just add a little bit more pineapple juice and, and, and tiny little bits, like, like a tablespoon at a time. And um, you'll start to see it get more fluid again. Again, you don't want it too thick, you don't want it too runny. So that, that's looking pretty good to me right there. It's almost like a, a caramel consistency. Okay, that's about what you want right there. I'm going to do this and bring this back over here as I need it. Um, now our pie, or our baking pans here I should say, not pie pans. Because we're not making pie at the moment, otherwise I'd call a pie pan. Alright, here's our first one. Like I said, we greased it, we put our pineapples in. Now we're going to get some maraschino cherries. And we're just going to block one in each of the rings, easy enough. As so. Okay, our second one we didn't spray yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Give it a nice coating of your cooking spray. Alright, now this is where the crush comes in. And like I said, I'll, I'll do it over the sink to show you. I guess my hands are clean. But, but bring it out, squeeze it out. But squeeze it out normally over a bowl. And there's still more pineapple juice coming out. Okay. Now go ahead and loosely put this in here and that's one can as well and that's the crushed and um, I saved a few of these pineapple rings for something I'm going to do on uh, another webisode that we'll be shooting a little bit later sometime um, and they'll keep pineapple rings I have one general to keep in your refrigerator. So don't worry about that. This is a can of crush. And 
again it's been lightly coated with the oil and then you just take your maraschino cherries that you've already pre-diced, chopped, whatever you'd like to call it, pour those in. So now you got two different versions of what's going on. This is going to be your center layer and this is going to be your top layer. Just a quick rinse here. We're going to preheat the oven to about 300. The box calls for a little bit different temperature, but when you're working with all this extra moisture, you want to cook it a little lower and slower. So everything cooks through. So now we're going to separate this as equally as I can into both of these. hands here. Right over the pineapple. Doesn't have to be perfect because when it cooks, it's going to cook in. It's going to get all bubbly for you. And it's going to be all over that cake. And that's pure goodness right there. Set this here. Clean my mess up from here to here. Take that and just smooth it over best you can. And if it doesn't coat everything 100%, again, don't worry about it because it's going to melt right out, right out to the edges. This one you don't have to worry about as much. You can mix everything right on up in here if you like like I'm doing now. Okay, now, here's what we got. Oh, that was slide. We can't tell them too much. All right, now your cake batter. Pour that in and try to get this more even so your layers are a little bit more even and they cook at the same time properly that you don't have one extremely large cake <laughs> and one with a tablespoon of cake mix in it. Shake them down. Shake it all down. Get any excess bubbles out of them. Alright, now we are going to do a quick walk, wipe, wash up here. Wipe up on the hands if I can talk. Well, I, I made a mess, but I tried to keep it concealed all over here, so don't, don't come over here. And we're going to pop these in the oven. The other thing I'm going to do is not directly under these. Now I got these on a higher rack in the oven right now at 300. But I'm going to go ahead and get out another big long rectangular rack. I'm going to put it on the lower one. And that's just for anything if it, if it starts coming up and anything bubbles. It's not on the bottom of your oven or even better yet a long piece of foil and just lay it in there. You don't have to form fit it. Just lay a piece of foil in there. When it's done, you can toss it. We'll be right back, okay? Okay, the cakes are in the oven. I went ahead and I grabbed a piece of foil, just cut off what I needed and tucked it in on that bottom rack. Again, they're on the top rack, the pineapple upside down cake. I got the timer set for 30 minutes and we're on 300. We're going to come out and check them then and we'll see you back in about 30. Hey everyone, back at the oven with the pineapple upside down cakes. Alright, we checked them uh, halfway through at the 30 minute mark and they were on 325 at that point in time. And. I just want to pull one out and then I'll show you, I'll tell you what we did. 
Alright, I'm going to put these on the front burners here just so you can see them. Alright, they're pretty now, but where do you see them when we get them all done? Now, what we had done was they were 325 for about 30 minutes, and then we had taken them to 250 uh, to 225, depending on your oven, for another 30 to 35 minutes. But what we had done is we had taken a piece of foil, like we did underneath them, and we covered them so the tops wouldn't get too brown, but they finished cooking through all the way. Okay, so this is what we got. I'd already taken the foil off when we come back to Webisode land, you know. But this is it, and you need to let these cool. And in the midst of cooking, you will notice with these, they start pulling away from the edges on their own. And when we come back, um, well, we did a pick test, okay? If it comes out clean, you're good. The other way to tell is to touch. If it doesn't stay in, if it springs back on you, that's a good thing. Start from the outer edge, work in, you'll be able to tell. Um, but they're done, we're going to let them rest because they need to for about 15, 20 minutes or so. And once they're at that stage, we're going to show you how to assemble them and make a beautiful double layer pineapple upside down cake. So stay tuned and come back and join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the pineapple upside down cake. I get a little rambunctious, I get a little excited because all you can see is that cake, you know, when it's baking and everything, but I do, I get a little excited to see what the, the finished product's going to be. So here we have for you an empty cake pan, voila. We have a magical black plate, okay, so pretend that your cake is in here. And what you want to do is take your plate and you want to flip it over and it'll come right out. Voila! Imagine a cake there. That's a single layer. You take your second one, because we did two and we're doing a double layer pineapple upside down cake. Alright, usually people do them in sheet cakes. We're doing a double layer. You take your second one magically it's right here pretend there's a cake in here again I get a little excited I want to see what the final product is so I did this time as usual but you put your hand over the second layer and you align it with this one and you flip it and you don't even need to tap it it just falls out on its own it truly does and there you go isn't that one gorgeous cake okay I mean, absolutely beautiful. All right, here we go. Here's the final product. Check it out. Double layer pineapple upside down cake. No water incorporated. It's got the pineapple juice. It's a crowd pleaser. It goes quick. We're taking it to a function tomorrow with us, and it won't last long. So again, double layer pineapple upside down cake. We made it, you can make it too. And thank you very much for watching another webisode of Galoui's Mood Food. We'll see you soon, catch us next time. Take care. Precious to the end You said the girl you were holding the